man of many talents. In 1897, Harper's Weekly sent Adney to the Yukon to govern the Klondike Gold Rush. He stayed for a year and a half, accumulating an extraordinary portfolio of illustrations and photographs. On his return to New York, he wrote and published The Klondike Stampede, which is the only fully detailed and illustrated account of this event by a person who was there. This book has never gone out of print. It is a primary resource for everyone who has since written about the Klondike Gold Rush. Tappan Adney and Minnie Bell spent 10 years attempting to revive her family's once prosperous orchard business at Upper Woodstock, which had fallen on hard times after the death of her father, Francis Peabody Sharp. In the end, the financial circumstances could not be sustained and they had to change course. Adney joined the Canadian Army and Minnie Bell opened a music school. After the end of the First World War, Adney remained in Montreal working as an artist on commissioned projects and doing ethnographic work for the McCord Museum at McGill University. In 1933, Tappan and Minnie Bell returned to Upper Woodstock where he had previously built a bungalow. 